The objective of table setting is to create a sterile field upon which surgical implements and instruments can be placed and accessed during a surgical procedure. Ideally, table setting should be performed in a sterile preparation room, such as the one now seen. A feature of these rooms is a laminar downflow ventilation system, now highlighted. This system blows air downwards in a controlled fashion, preventing dust particles from contaminating the sterile field. For a more detailed elaboration on this, refer to the course Operating Room Design and Layout. If done in the OR, effort should be made to perform the table setting beneath the laminar downflow ventilation system. In this film, the table setting technique is demonstrated in the OR. Take note of the OR furniture that is required. Mayo stand, back table, as well as an OR trolley. The surfaces of the mayo stand and the back table are where the sterile field will be arranged. Regardless of whether the setup is performed in a sterile preparation room or the OR, furniture should be positioned a safe distance from the door and walls of the room. It is important to note that table setting contents and configurations will vary between individuals, procedures and hospitals. The objective remains to set up a sterile field on which surgical instruments and implements can be accessed during a procedure. In setting up, the aim should be to move economically and to set instruments and implements in a manner that is logical and safe for reach and access during the procedure. In this film, a lot of the disposables required are already available within the procedure pack. This may not always be the case. Preparation is key, and all instruments and implements that may be required during the procedure should be available in the operating room at the start of the procedure. Take note of the following. The procedure pack. In this film, a so-called basic pack is used. Contained therein are disposables, such as gauze swabs, surgical towels and suction tubing. The contents of this pack will be discussed in detail later on in this film. Take note that the procedure pack is placed on the back table. In addition to the procedure pack, an instrument set has also been placed in view. The contents of this set will vary depending on the procedure, and the naming of the set will vary from hospital to hospital. In this film, a so-called basic surgical set is being used. The instruments contained in this set will be discussed in further detail later on in this film. Take note of the instrument set having been placed on the operating room trolley. Often additional disposables not contained in the procedure pack are required. These should also be prepared prior to starting table setting. In this case, gloves as well as sutures are placed on the OR trolley ready for use. As mentioned, this is but one of the many options for handling additional disposables. In some instances, the circulating nurse may be solely responsible for handling additional disposables. Prior to opening any sterile item, it should be checked to ensure that it is indeed sterile and safe for use. Factors that should be checked for include the integrity of packaging and where applicable, expiry date, as well as sterilization confirmation, such as chemical indicators. Also of importance is that the scrub nurse handling the sterile items should have performed hand hygiene according to local protocol and also put on appropriate surgical attire, including a surgical mask. The procedure pack is opened. Take note of how the scrub nurse moves confidently yet economically in doing so. This kind of movement is a recurring theme not only during table setting, but throughout the procedure to be performed. The plastic outer covering is discarded and attention is now turned to the sterile packaging material covering the procedure pack. Take note of how the pack has now been turned so that it can be opened lengthwise along the back table. Take note of how the scrub nurse uses the tips of the fingers to handle only the very edge of the sterile packaging material. This is in order to maintain sterility. Once opened lengthwise, the scrub nurse then opens the procedure pack along its width, again with care taken to handle only the edges of the sterile packaging material. Taking hold of the corners, the packaging material is lifted and lowered along the edge of the table in a controlled manner. To avoid leaning over the sterile field and potentially contaminating it, the scrub nurse walks around to the other side of the table and performs the same action. Take note of the sterile field, as well as the sterile contents of the procedure pack. 
To continue with arranging the sterile field, the scrub nurse must now scrub and gown up. This is not shown in this film. Take note, however, that the sterile gown is part of the procedure pack in this film. This is not always the case. Once gloved and gowned, a scrub nurse is now ready to continue arranging the sterile field. As previously mentioned, this can be done in a number of ways. In this film, the contents of the procedure pack are first set to one side. Take note of the Mayo stand cover, a specialised covering material comprised both of plastic and draping material. It may or may not be included in the contents of a procedure pack. Moving economically and making full use of the sterile field, the scrub nurse unfolds the Mayo stand cover. Typically, the Mayo stand cover is packed and folded with a cuff, now highlighted. This cuff allows the scrub nurse to pass the Mayo stand cover over the Mayo stand while maintaining sterility. The cuff also allows the scrub nurse to pass the cover to the circulating nurse and for the circulating nurse to complete covering without sterility being compromised. Once appropriately covered, the scrub nurse is able to move the Mayo stand into position and continue arranging the sterile field. Of importance when unfolding the Mayo stand is that the cuff is completely unfolded. This prevents gauze swabs and other small disposables from potentially falling into it. Unfolded, it is a safe distance from the floor, again preserving sterility. Now in view is the expanded sterile field. Additional disposables may be required. Disposables are typically packaged in a so-called peel pack. While maintaining a safe distance from the sterile field, the unsterile exterior of the pack can be peeled back as shown, allowing the scrub nurse to lift out the sterile contents. Smaller peel packs can have their exterior peeled back as shown and the contents flipped onto the sterile field. <laughs> <laughs>